Hello, and welcome to the fourth video of Gaso Plus 9.7 tutorial dedicated to dosage form. Let's take over the case studies where we left it. We have entered the physical chemical properties of our compound that have been measured in vitro, but now we want to focus on the main goal that is predicting the plasma oxygen time course following an IV administration of 5 mg to human. So first, let's create that specific record. So you can go to database, copy drug record, and name it midazolam, human, IV, bolus, 5 mg. Click on OK. I have this new record. When we are dealing with the dosage form, there are multiple information to consider. First, which dosage form are we using? Are we using an intravenous administration, an all administration, or another route of administration? And then, once the dosage form is defined, what kind of formulation? And also, what is the administration schedule? All of this information will be implemented on the compound tab. For the dosage form, you have a drop-down menu. The first two letters will define the route of administration, so IV for intravenous, IR for oral immediate release. And if you scroll down, you will find the ocular administration, pulmonary administration, transdermal administration, as well as the subcutaneous, intramuscular, and the oral cavity administration. For each of them, you will have multiple formulations you could select. Solution, suspension, capsules, tablets, sublingual, and so on for the immediate release. In our case, we will stick with IV bolus. We will do only a single administration, so we don't need to define the dosing interval. But you could simulate multiple administration of the same dose using the same route of administration. If you would like to predict a more complex administration schedule with either different dose, different interval, or different formulation, but for the same API, all of that could be done with a mixed multiple dose, support files combined with the mixed multiple dose, dosage form. But in that case, we want to keep it simple, so let's just have an IV bolus. The dose is 5 milligrams, and we can simply change, change it right there. The take-home message of these videos are, first, the dosage form is selected on the compound tab for all of the route of administration. Then, the dosing and emission schedules and the volume information are also in the compound tab taking into consideration the dose will be the same and the administration schedules will be the same. The interval will be the same. And finally, if you want to simulate a more complex administration schedules, the mixed multiple dose support files will help you to do so. And a specific video will be created specifically on this topic. Thank you very much for joining us for this video. And we will see you in the next one. As always, you can visit our website or send us an email for more information. Thank you very much.